Hey folks, good afternoon. This is Matt RV Meisner with Steel Rubber Products coming to you with another installation video. Today we'll be looking at the installation of slide out seals on an upper end Class A motor coach. Uh, we'll be doing this today with the assistance of, and professionalism of our good friends at RV Pros here in Mooresville, North Carolina. Greg and his team will be demonstrating and actually uh, completing the installation for not only the exterior but the interior as well of this particular slide out. Uh, the problem here today is, is that this motor coach arrived with a series of slide out seals that were not dimensionally correct. Uh, that means they were not filling all the gaps and uh, allowing moisture and the weather to get inside causing additional damage. And as you know, that's, that can be a real concern for any RV owner that has a slide out. So join me today as we take a look at uh, their work and how it's done. And uh, I'll be guiding you through this process as we go along. Let's go. What we're doing now is taking a look at the existing seal on this Class A, the exterior slide out seals. And what you're seeing is a foam rubber uh, white extrusion that's been applied using a uh, adhesive as, a, as opposed to a push on. And the problem with this particular uh, slide out seal was, is again, as I mentioned, it was dimensionally incorrect. Uh, it was too small of a wiper to actually effectually complete the job. What you're seeing here is uh, Greg taking the steps to prep the Class A, and that entails uh, removal of the, um, the awning, the slide out awning that you uh, commonly see on a lot of campers these days that have slide outs. And those are good things to help keep a lot of debris off the top of the slide out, but it is an involved process. So again, you know, while this is a project uh, that, you know, a number of you will be able to do, um, we do uh, recommend the use of professional services if it gets a little bit more detailed involved. And here you'll see uh, Greg and his team using step ladders, etc. All right, this is a close-up shot of them taking a look at that top seal that wraps along the upper edge of the RV, and they're going to have to start pulling that off. So once that awning has been pulled back and removed, now the process is to uh, clearly and cleanly remove the old seal. I really need to stress the importance of taking your time here. I, I know that it would be really easy just to pull on this particular seal and remove it. Uh, doing so, you just might rip pieces off and leave a lot behind. It's gonna be really important to ensure that all the old adhesive or in all the old seals completely removed. This will ensure better adhesion of either the new seal, or in this case, since Greg will be using a push-on, that that push-on component and that edge trim that's used won't be um, in, uh, hindered at actually gripping the side of the RV. Okay, moving forward here, Greg is taking the time to examine the, the new seal as he prepares to install it correctly on the side of the slide out. Now, previously, as I mentioned, the old seal that was causing the leak was one that was actually using an adhesive. Uh, the original setup on this Class A camper was to feature what is known as a push-on seal, which has an edge trim and a bulb and wiper that's attached to it. That makes it very easy to install. All you have to do is actually push it onto the pinch weld that's either fiberglass or metal. Now you'll note in these images that Greg is faced with very, very tight tolerances, and that's not uncommon with Class A type campers. You'll see the gap between the side wall of the camper and the actual wall of the slide out to be very, very tight. So he's taking his time to make sure that it's pressed in place correctly uh, without causing any damage to the side of the uh, camper itself or the slide out. So now we've made it to the top of the slide out. And frankly, this is gonna be one of the most important parts of the whole slide out installation. I, I know there's obviously a, a number of important parts, but the top is ultra critical because that's number one, an area that you're not gonna see every day. And number two is gonna be most exposed to anything falling, rain, snow, etc. Um, and will need to be really well installed. Here again, he's taking his time, and right now, we've reached the corners. This is a real important part, so again, take your time. Now, what you're seeing Greg do is a technique that's called mitering. With this push-on seal, he's actually wrapped the corner completely with the push-on component, so the bulb and the trim actually remain intact. He simply provided a slight cut into the wiper blade itself and is doing some overlap with the 
flap or the wiper that is on the top section of the camper overlapping the vertical piece that's on the side. Uh, following this overlap or mitering technique that we talk about, he's going to apply what is uh, what we use as our Super Bonder 495 to adhere the two wipers together to make it again a single piece. This is important because as the slide out wiper actually activates and is doing a wiping process on the side of the slide out, it'll do it as an integral single piece. Just remember folks that as you complete the project, whether it's interior or exterior, if there's anything that you've had to remove, uh, make sure that you remember how to do that because you'll want to now at this point reinstall everything just as you removed it. Uh, the object being is, is that you want to have everything put back into its original condition. Now with the new seal and you should be ready to go. All right, folks, now we've moved to the interior of this Class A. And let me just reiterate, uh, just like we did with the outside, take your time because in this particular case, as you'll see, Greg and his team had to do a lot of work, the prep work that is, to remove fascia, uh, decorative pieces, even the part of the refrigerator to be able to access the old seal to not only remove it, but then place the new seal. Greg's completing the removal of the old seal that was just like the exterior one. Uh, his team has taken the time to uh, carefully clean the old adhesive off of the camper and carefully remove any of the old parts of the, uh, the seal. And now they're getting ready to install the new one. Now what's unique about this, and it's kind of neat, is that uh, they are able to use a different type of slide out seal on the interior. As you recall, I mentioned at the beginning that this is going to be a, a, a unique installation and I would want to uh, underscore to you that you have that kind of flexibility in most cases. So where he used a push on seal for the exterior, on the interior he's going to actually use one of our peel and stick slide out seals. Not only will it work very well for what is on the interior, but it will also make the installation a lot easier. Now Greg in these pictures is taking his time to uh, carefully position the seal ensuring that the adhesive is making the direct contact and where he wants to place the slide out seal as he's removing the adhesive backer. And so he and his team are doing that literally foot by foot in this case. All right, so we're coming to the close of the installation of this slide out seal and Craig and his team are now installing the bulb portion of the slide out seal. Now what's unique about this is that it, as I mentioned, it's different from the exterior seal in that the exterior seal had an edge trim that had an integral bulb and wiper. It was a one piece design and you push it on. And there's advantages to that. There's also advantages to this combination seal, which they're using here now. Uh, it's very easy to install in terms of the peel and stick nature of the wiper and track. But now you also have the opportunity to select the bulb that is best for your camper. So here they're just sliding the bulb onto the track. They'll be installing some screws, set screws at either end to hold it in place but that allows you to uh, really custom fit it. It also gives you the opportunity to uh, work with something if there's any damage done. And what that means is, for example, if the bulb gets damaged, you don't need to replace the entire seal. You can just replace the bulb, the wiper stays. So there you have it, folks. Um, be sure to reinstall everything as you had it previously. And uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to us directly or online or via email. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, indicate so at the, at the bottom. Thanks so much for joining us today.